When it comes to RAG applications, a lot of the early examples focused on using vector search for the retrieval part of the architecture. And then we all kind of remembered, actually full text search is pretty good at this as well. So to recap, vector search is very good at finding the semantic meaning of queries and looking it up in our database, even if the exact terms are not in the text. Whereas full text search is kind of the opposite. So if there are specific keywords or phrases or exact details that we're looking for, it's gonna be really good at finding. And in this video, I wanna look at hybrid search. And so this is the idea of, can we get the best of both worlds by combining the results of those two algorithms? So let's launch IPython and then we're gonna import pandas and the rich console. And we're gonna get into the Olympic spirit in this video by looking at a BBC article about the Olympics opening ceremony. So I've kind of broken it down and made some embeddings and I've put it into a file called olympics.parquet. So let's load that and we'll have a look at the first few rows. And so you can see here and here, we've got the URL, we've got the title, we've got the index, so that's like its position in the text. We've got some chunks of text and then we've got embeddings, which I created with the mixed bread algorithm. We're now going to import the DuckDB module. We'll create a DuckDB database and then we're gonna create a table called Olympics, which will have the index, the embeddings, cast a float with 1,024 values, the text, the URL, and the title, and we're gonna be reading from our data frame. We're also gonna install and load the full text search extension, and then we're gonna create a full text search index uh, on the text column. Okay, now we're gonna paste in our FTS function from the last video, and we're using the BM25 algorithm to do the the look up the search terms in that index. Now for vector search, so we're gonna import Llama CPP and we'll initialize it with the mixed bread model. And then we're gonna paste in our vector search function. Now remember for that one, we've gotta first convert the search term to a search vector, and then we can pass that into our query. And we're gonna be using the cosine similarity function to find the most similar answers. Now let's have a look at how to use them. So we're gonna start with the query, where was the opening ceremony held? We'll do that for full text search then for vector search, and then we're gonna print out the results for full text search and the results for vector search. Full text search has correctly identified that the Olympic ceremony was being done along the River Seine, and if we scroll down, we can see that vector search has identified that as well. So they both worked well there. Let's have another question. So which important people were there? So you can see full text search, no, no results. It, it can't find anything for that. Vector search identifies that Keir Starmer and Macron were there, so that's good. How about we saw pictures of Serena Williams? So let's ask it. I heard Serena was there. And so full text search does well here, so it identifies that Serena was part of the Olympic torches journey. Vector search kind of goes all over the place, so this is not, not really very useful. And so you can see for some, full text search has done well, and for others, vector search has done well. And so with hybrid search, we're gonna see, can we write some SQL to combine these results together? We're gonna to use an algorithm called reciprocal rank fusion. So this is a rank aggregation method that combines rankings from multiple sources into a single ranking. This is the formula. And so what we're saying is we're gonna go over all the rankers or retrievers. So that, that would be for, for example, full text search and vector search. And then we're gonna do one divided by K, so that's 60, plus the particular ranking. And then we'll add, you know, we'll obviously add them together for each of the retrievers and we'll get a score. Now, the idea of this algorithm is that it gives more weight to higher ranks. So, for, so in your results, you get a ranking. So for example, if we had 10 results coming back, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And the score for one is gonna be higher than the score for 10. And then the contribution to the score decreases non-linearly. So what that means is that there's gonna be a bigger difference between the rank one and rank two, and for example, rank 100 and 101. And each retriever has an equal value. So the score for vector search is gonna be the 50% and the score for full text search is gonna be 50%. Now this is a reasonably simple algorithm. There are much more complicated ones available, but we're not gonna cover those in this video. I'll put a link in the description below. Let's write ourselves a function or what DuckDB calls a macro. We're gonna pass in the rank and then we'll pass in K and we're gonna default that to 60. And then we're gonna call the coalesce function. We'll pass in the formula. And then if you don't have a rank, we're just gonna put you at zero. Now we're gonna have a look at how to call it. So we'll call it with a, a score of a rank of one, a rank of two, and then the diff, and a rank of 100 and a rank of 101, and then the diff. And so you can see back the scores come back. You can see the diff for the first one is 0 0.00026. Whereas if you look at the, the diff, between 100 and 101, it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0003. So you can see the gap between one and two is bigger than the gap between 100 and 101, which is what we expected. Now let's write the hybrid function. So at the top, we're gonna to call the full text search query, and we're gonna extend it a little bit by calling the select function. So we'll get all the existing fields, and then we're gonna use the rank window function so we can get a ranking for each row. And then we'll do the same thing for vector search. Now, the cool thing about DuckDB is that the 
table returned by the FTS function is lazily evaluated. So we're actually not running the query and then adjusting the results. We are effectively adjusting the query that's going to be run. Now we're going to write a query that merges the FTS result and the VEC result if the text columns are the same. We're using a full outer join here so that we get results if they're on either side. So if it's missing on one side, we're still going to get it. Now, if you're going to do this, this obviously is potentially creating a big Cartesian product. So you want to make sure you've got a limit. So we're going to use a limit of 20. So it'll be 20 times 20. So it'll be 400. So that should easily be fine. Then we're going to coalesce the results for the text, for the index, and we'll then compute the reciprocal rank fusion score. And then we'll put in the ranks for full text search and vector search as well. And then we're going to order it by the hybrid score descending. Okay, let's go and find our Serena query. And we're going to update it here. So we're going to have a hybrid result in there too. Let's just put a space between full text search and vector search on the results. And then we'll put the results for the hybrid search as well. And so we run that and remember it comes back really well on the full text search. Vector search still not a very good answer. But then hybrid search now has Serena at the top and then it's pulled in some other information from the vector search result. And so it's not perfect. And the place where I've seen it fall down is if you have a really good answer that's only on one side, it might not end up in the hybrid search results. If you liked what we did with DuckDB in here, you might want to check out this DuckDB playlist where I've got lots of other videos.